Hey y'all, it's your girl, Zoe. And today we are discussing Stranger Things coming to Dead by Daylight. Not only are we going to get a new killer, the Demogorgon, but we're also getting two survivors, Steve and Nancy, and a whole new map. Obviously, I'm excited for this new chapter, and as many of us Dead by Daylight players are, but can we just really talk about how much of a big deal the Stranger Things Dead by Daylight collaboration is? I mean, this is going to put Dead by Daylight on the map on a whole new level. Like, Stranger Things is such a popular show now, and it's still new. It's still fresh. The third season just came out. And this show has been able to, like, hit a demographic all across the board. Like, adults, children, like, everyone loves this show, right? And for the devs of Dead by Daylight to get the Stranger Things license, this is a huge deal. Like, they need to pat themselves on the back for making this happen because not only is this exciting for us players, but it is such a smart business move on Dead by Daylight. So like I said, I'm really excited about this chapter, but what I think is more exciting is the fact that Dead by Daylight, by putting Stranger Things as their new chapter, they are bringing awareness to their game like, like never before. Like I really think that this new chapter is going to be their most successful chapter thus far and is going to put their game on the map like never before. Like really think of how big Stranger Things is and like how relevant it is to pop culture today, right now, now you attach it to a video game, like it is going to bring Stranger Things and it's gonna bring Dead by Daylight, specifically this game, to a whole new level. And it's really, really exciting to be a part of it and to see it happen in the months to come. Cause like a lot of new people are gonna be now interested in playing the game and I think Dead by Daylight obviously has a really dedicated following, but I feel like this Stranger Things chapter is going to bring it to Fortnite level. And it's going to be really exciting to see that. So let's talk a little bit more about the details of the game. Like I said, we are getting one killer, the Demogorgon, and then we're getting two, two uh, survivors. And this is the first time... Um, this is happening in a Dead by Daylight chapter because usually it's one killer and one survivor. And I'm really glad they're giving us two survivors this round because obviously with the ghost face um, chapter, we did not get a survivor. And I mean, like, who's still a little disappointed that we did not get Sydney Prescott in the ghost face chapter? Like, I understand they probably couldn't get the licensing for Sydney Prescott and I'm I don't know if they had to go through Nev Campbell either um to get her rights to it I don't know how that works but um I'm still a little disappointed that we didn't get um Sydney Prescott because Sydney Prescott is literally the definition of a survivor like it, it's been said and referenced in the movies time and time again Sydney Prescott is the ultimate survivor but nonetheless I digress we are getting Nancy and Steve in this new Stranger Things chapter, and we're getting a whole new map. So they're definitely stepping up their game with Stranger Things in general and giving us a little bit more in a chapter than they usually do. So once again, the devs need to pat themselves on the back because they're really giving the fans of what they want. So the devs of Dead by Daylight just had a stream recently. In the stream, they're discussing what to expect in the chapter release and how they came about the concept of what to choose for the chapter. So we are getting the Hawkins underground facility. And they were discussing, like, should they do the school, the mall, or, like, the house? And I think that picking this map in particular was a really good choice for them because I feel like it the facility has a dead by daylight essence to it already looking at the map gameplay a little bit it's definitely giving you like the hospital meets the pig plant vibes but if you've ever seen this show called helix on like sci-fi or whatever it's definitely giving me that vibe like that underground facility vibe obviously it's giving you the facility vibe of stranger things but for some reasons are it's really giving me like that sci-fi 
aspect to it. And it, I think it's like three levels now too, which is really exciting. This is going to be the first map to have three levels that doesn't include the basement. So that's really, really cool. So I wonder how big each floor will be. Um, and it's going to be exciting to play the test build here soon and really, uh, you know, explore the map. So it's funny in the stream, they were talking about like which killers to, that they were going to choose from. And even though a lot of people were going to pick the obvious choices of one of the kids, the dev was saying that, um, no, like we, we, we can't have kids being killed and like ripped apart in our game. And probably for a good reason, like good, that's good marketing because if you want kids and a bigger audience to buy the game and get introduced to the game, like parents approving this horror game um, will be more likely if they don't see kids getting ripped apart. So they came up with Steve and Nancy. I'm kind of surprised they didn't choose um, like Wyona Ryder. Like it's Wyona Ryder. But I'm, I'm glad that they picked Steve and Nancy. I think those were obviously two really big characters. Maybe not cohesive together. But I think that those two characters are going to mesh well with all the other characters of Dead by Daylight. So it's going to be really interesting when the chapter release comes out. You know, prices were um, getting thrown around. Usually a chapter is around like $5. But because it's Stranger Things and because we're getting not one but two survivors, I think that a more realistic price would be around $10. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they charge people $15. Because this is stranger things we're talking about. I mean, it probably wouldn't, it probably couldn't have been cheap to get the Stranger Things license, even though it seemed that Netflix is pretty like collaborative with this new chapter. Um, and they seem like really cool with it. So I don't know, maybe it wasn't that expensive. But I would just, like, expect more and then be surprised with less. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't expect $5. I, re I really don't think it's going to be $5. I mean, that would be really cool if it will would be $5. Because um, if you really think about it, if they charge people at $5 for the new DLC, for this new Stranger Things chapter, it will be more of incentive to buy the base game and this chapter for people who've never played the game before. Um, cause like I said, Dead by Daily is now getting into a new territory, like Fortnite level territory with having the Stranger Things chapter and th their game is going to be introduced to so many more new people. So, Hey, they could be like, you know what? We'll just charge you $5 because we know we're going to get new people to buy our game anyways, or because it was expensive to make and because it's so popular. We're going to charge around $10. So yeah, that's that's going to be my guess, that they're going to charge about $10. And I think rightfully so, because they're giving us a lot this chapter. And um, I'm really excited for it. And I can't wait. Like, I'm not like a huge, like, die hard to your things fan. But like, I ain't stupid either. Like, this is a big deal. This is a really big deal for Dead by Daylight. And I'm excited for what's to come. There is going to be a public test build I will do some gameplay record on it and I will upload it so definitely stay tuned for that um if you want me to do another video on the Stranger Things new chapter like the actual details of the perks because I didn't really talk about them I mean you can always just go watch the dev stream and I'll link that video in the link below um but yeah if you want me to update y'all more on the news of Stranger Things that Debbie Daily chapter um, or just make another video of it if I didn't go too much in depth of how you wanted it to be I will make another video So yeah, definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that notification bell So you can see when I upload more videos check out all the links in the description below and definitely Check out more of my dead by daylight gameplay videos because I'm becoming a gamer girl. So check them out. I will see y'all later. T-dubs